Welcome back. The Federation of State Beef Councils is made up of the 45 qualified state beef councils that collect the $1 per head beef checkoff. And this year, they're celebrating 50 years. We recently had the chance to talk to some of its members about this special milestone. Our forefathers who put this together were a genius. Uh, you know, this is a complicated structure, uh, but it's a very important structure. And I think what it does, it gives a grassroots producer a say-so in what they're doing with their checkoff dollars. The guys that started this were so visionary to see what we needed. Um, and I've been around for not all the 50 years, but several of them, and watched the state, the Federation of State Beef Councils evolve from the Beef Industry Council, the National Livestock and Meat Board, to where we are now taking a more bold role in, um, in doing the checkoff work. And it's just, um, it's just a, a self-help program that works like no other I've been involved with. The Federation of State Beef Councils is um, the checkoff division of NCBA. And together, we've been the feet on the streets of State Beef Councils to help extend the great programs that have been delivered on behalf of America's beef producers um, over the last 50 years. It started even longer ago than that. And State Beef Councils were getting organized in the 1950s and uh, developing programs in their own states and then, then came together in 1963 to, to really form that coalition that would, that would create a national program. And it, it's just come, come a long way in those 50 years. But really the idea is still exactly the same and that is that uh, we can really uh, be strong as individual states in what we do, but once we join our forces, we can be even stronger, and I think that's really a great message. When we have a strong national program, we have a strong state program, and when we have a st strong state program, then we have a strong national program, and they work so well together, and they need each other. But it, it brings all of the states together, and the, the state beef councils, or the state checkoff programs, uh, are different, the states have different structures, but we all come together to uh, help drive beef demand, and, and it's a uh, excellent the federation brings the state national groups together with the, the one purpose. We all have different situations in our individual states, but um, there's always those things that we share and we can take from others and use in our own states, and that sort of brings in the idea of efficiency um, because when we can all uh, share our ideas um, and the national works with us, um, it makes a very efficient organization. Without our beef councils, our national programs really can't extend and do all that they're meant to do. That we really need the beef councils because they are the ones that are getting into the stores, they're the ones that are getting into the restaurants, they're the ones that have the relationships. Uh, with those consumers and those school districts and those um, outlets for the product and so we desperately need to have a relationship with beef councils to make a difference for beef demand. I have a very small staff, it's me and a part-timer and neither one of us is a designer and so we, we utilize design services an awful lot and um, usually on short notice and they're very cooperative with us and very helpful. We use them for ads, we use them for brochures, um, any types of publications and sometimes even to help us with um, radio advertisements, newsletters, I, I, we, we keep them busy. One of the services that we just used recently was design services and we make a, a great benefit out of that. We just, uh, they designed a BQA brochure for us that looks really great, very professional. And it's something that in New York State with a limited budget, we couldn't afford a de uh, graphic designer to do that. And so that was one of the most recent uses of the Federation services. One of the things that is great about the Federation is states like Wyoming, with a small staff and lots of cattle but no people, we can take those dollars and we can invest them well in places where the consumers live and really utilize producer dollars to make the biggest impact on beef demand. It's been a great state national partnership uh, moving the dollars to where the people are and that's what I'm most proud of. I really feel like uh, we have had some visionary people that have got us to this point in the industry um, 
you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of issues, frankly, that we're kind of dealing with, and I think it, it we're going to be able to deal with those better uh, with this state and national partnership. And so, when I think about the last 50 years, I think it's been very valuable to have um, a group of a, a team, if you will, that all works for one goal. Happy anniversary, Federation of State Beef Councils. We are a big fan um, of the work that we've been able to accomplish together. Happy 50th anniversary. It's a true reason to celebrate 50 years of collaborative efforts that have been successful in assisting this industry and in staying relevant. And I, I can't think of a greater reason to celebrate. Oh, happy anniversary. I'm delighted to be a part of this. And joining me in the studio to talk more about the Federation of State Beef Councils is Todd Johnson, Vice President of Federation Services for NCBA. Welcome to the show, Todd. Thanks, Kevin. It's good to be here. You've got that button on. The Federation is celebrating its 50th anniversary. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the history of the Federation. You bet. Uh, 50 years ago, the Federation was created, but I want to take you back just a few years prior to that in the 1950s hmm. when individual state beef councils were being created across the country. California was our first individual beef council to be created. And producers came together to create that council as a reason, as a way to um, uh, support the market when drought caused more cattle to be placed onto the marketplace. Mm. So they brought together a self-help program. Mm -hmm. Alabama followed, Florida, Montana. And so by the mid-60s, 1963, we had uh, six state beef councils in place. At that time, the National Livestock and Meat Board, based in Chicago, was the home to the Beef Industry Council. Mm -hmm. So created in 1963, there was a home for state beef councils collectively to pool resources and do programming. Mm -hmm. Now, the other milestone was in 1996 when the National Cattlemen's Association merged with the Beef Industry Council right. of the Meat Board. Right. That's created today in what we have as NCBA, and that's the home of the Federation today. And that brings us up to date. Talk to us about the role the Federation plays today in the checkoff. You bet. The Federation has two significant roles in the checkoff program. One, it is home to the Federation of State Beef Councils, mm -hmm. and two, it is a contractor to the beef checkoff program at the national level. So I like to point that out because we provide services to individual state beef councils mm -hmm. in the areas of IT, design, mm -hmm. communications, strategic planning, things that are very centric to what a state council does mm -hmm. at the home level. Mm -hmm. But we also provide these services on behalf of the national checkoff program and that's through our role as a contractor to the Cattlemen's Beef Board and the Beef Promotion Operating Committee. You know, at convention, we continually hear a lot about this state and national partnership. Can you tell us more about that? The partnership is essential to our success. Uh, we know that the 45 state beef councils across the country are really uh, the feet on the ground to make checkoff programming come to life. The partnership we have is being a home to those state councils, not only the staff that do great work at the state level, but the volunteer producers who serve on their state board, mm -hmm. they sit on our committees and our board at the national level. Mm -hmm. So it's a real uh, opportunity to bring to life programs that are funded oftentimes at the national level, but implemented at the state level. So, so what do the people who actually pay into this program think about this, this partnership and this arrangement that we've created? I think it's the truest form of grassroots input you could ask for. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of figures to think about. 45 state councils mm -hmm. across the country that, ch that collect the checkoff and then invest dollars nationally and at the state level. On those state councils, over 700 producers and industry mm -hmm. leaders make up their state board of directors. Mm -hmm. So those 700 people then designate their board members to come to the federation and serve on our committees and our board and help set direction for the national program. So uh, a really great synergy that happens between state and national. Um, again, great grassroots input from all across the country. So you're ensuring that somebody in an ivory tower is not making all the decisions. We've got actual producers giving their input and deciding where these dollars are spent. Precisely. And they, they do that in a really coordinated way. Again, they're making decisions at the state level based on their 50 cents that they retain, but they're also making decisions on the national level. Uh, and the Federation plays a significant role in bringing those ideas and talent and, and perspective uh, to a national level. Thank you for all the leadership you provided the Federation. It's an outstanding program for the industry. Thanks. We appreciate that. For more information on the Federation of State Beef Councils, just log on to our website at cattlemanandcattlemen.org.